Hey XBMC Nut here again YouTube. I uh, just wanted to show you a little project I've been working on with my sign off. Now what I've done here is a Wannaberry uh, one of these sign off units. This is live by the way so don't get too close to that. Let's use my probe. Um, I wanted to bury one of these in the wall but I wanted to have an external button and I found these um, nice stainless buttons uh, on AliExpress for a couple of dollars with a blue light in it. <clears throat> but the blue light is not an LED. Um, these are designed for vehicles so that they're actually a 12-volt bulb, um, which poses a problem because if you put 12 volts on these, they draw... Well, I haven't actually um, calculated what it is, but it's probably uh, in excess of 100 milliamps. And the difficulty we have is the ESP8266 um, can only provide, um, I think it's 20 milliamps maximum. Um, 12 milli milliamps is the, um, the common number that's spread around the internet. So my plan was is to have one of these lights. So I've got the, um, the button actually connected. I've removed the button on board the Sonoff and connected the contacts for the switch to the button, soldered that on there. And then I've used, um, I was planning to use the LED pins. I've removed the LED from the board, but I've actually connected um, the light circuit to uh, GPIO 14, which is the DHT1122 pin, the spare pin on the Sonoff board. But because of the current consumption, I didn't want to blow up my Sonoff, so I bought one of these from AliExpress, which is a little um, MOSFET board. Um, that you can either uh, turn on with a high or a low signal. So I've got my, um, or the great thing is, which is what I wanted to use it for, was you can drive it with a PWM signal um, up to 20 kilohertz. So uh, with ESP Easy, uh, you can configure one of the GPIOs or just send a PWM command to it. So that allows me to vary the brightness on the bulb in theory. So what I did is I bought one of these. These turned up in my mailbag today with lots of other stuff that I've got to show you. So I've got, uh, coming in here from my bench power supply, I've got 3.3 volts. And the reason why I've done that is because ideally I would want to drive this board from the Sonoff power supply. So I've got 3.3 volts coming in and then 3.3 volts coming out or being controlled. But it's being controlled by GPIO 14 on the Sonoff and uh, that allows me to send a PWM signal in on the, um, uh, the trigger PWM pin here and control the brightness of this. So what I've done, um, once I edit the video, I will actually show you, it'll, it'll also be in the description below, what rules I use inside ESP Easy to control the brightness of the bulb. So at the moment, uh, the LED, or sorry, the relay is actually off uh, on the Sonoff unit and I've got a PWM uh, signal going to this board uh, I think the PWM level is 10 and <clears throat> when I turn that on I'm basically not drawing any current at all from my bench power supply it's negligible but when I turn the relay on so the Sonoff is on now I do need to connect the bulb to that so you can actually tell but now I send on relay on using rules. I'm sending a PWM uh, 400, I think it is, and uh, the LED brightness has changed, which is fantastic. Exactly what I wanted to do. So I just push that button again. Oh, and it's off, and it goes to dim, and turn the relay on again, and the light comes on. So the plan is to use this for lighting control. So when the light is on, it doesn't matter that the LED is nice and bright, but you don't want, you know, these LEDs are surprisingly bright at night time. So you don't want, you wouldn't want that brightness when the light was off. You need it dimmed. So it's gone dim. I've been rushing when I've been pushing the button and not waiting for the relay to change. So, um, yeah, it's, it's gone dim there now. And um, you would be able to see that at night, no problem at all. But what I've worked out is because I have a bench power supply now, which I also bought from AliExpress, I've, because we're only running this lamp at 3.3 volts, I've played around with the PWM output levels, and I've found that if I keep the PWM level below, I think it's 400, 
the current never goes over at the moment it's sitting at 11 milliamps so the nice thing is is that because I've worked that out um, I actually don't need this board at all I can drive this uh, bulb directly from the 3.3 um, volt um, output of the Sonoff board um, providing you get that level and again the item description below I'll actually tell you what that number is as I say at the moment it's sitting on 11 milliamps which I'm comfortable with and um, turn the relay off the button does need a good push it's it's not the best button in the world but uh, yeah little test I've been meaning to do for a very very long time so um, yeah I'll uh, write a blog post and give you the code for that and embed the video in there and um, you put some stuff in the, uh, the notes down below so if you like this video give us a tick thanks for watching bye <laughs>